Hi, and welcome to Elixir TV episode four. Um, we're outside of the studio today. We're actually at East End Cupcakes on 4th Street in Portland with uh, founder, owner, um, head, janitor. Janitor. <laughs> HR department. Yeah, Alicia Zoidis right here. Um, so basically, the first question is, uh, you know, what, what, was your, what, your, what was your dream in creating East End Cupcakes? Um, well, really, the motivation was moving back to Maine. Mm -hmm. I wanted, I was living in New York, and I had lived in Boston before that, and all of a sudden I had this complete epiphany that, oh, now I want to live in Maine, yeah. and, um, and come back. So I thought about the things that I could do once I got here. I wouldn't have been able to find a job in my field necessarily, what I was doing in New York, mm -hmm. and um, I really wanted to find some sort of creative outlet mm -hmm. that, where I could employ myself and make a living and um, it just kind of progressed into this thing where I thought about what the things that I liked to do and baking was one of them and then the cupcake trend is huge in New York and yeah. it's growing rapidly in Boston and um, it just kind of came to me like I'll do cupcakes there are no yeah. cupcake shops here yeah so that's so so you didn't you didn't have a background in, in, in baking you just like to bake yeah. right yeah Okay, yeah, because yeah, yeah. people always, people always say to me they said you go to school for elixir, and uh, it was it's literally I, I just like clothes and then they, yeah. everything else organically kind of happened. Um, yeah, I mean I think for me that I found that that's like the best way to get involved in something or to to make a living doing something that you love is figure out what you love first and totally. then try to you know create your job you know around that. Yeah. Okay, so the big question. Food Network, Cupcake Wars, you're on it. I am. Um, that's the big I'm question. Famous, I don't know if you famous. know that. Um, what did you take kind away? <laughs> what did you take away from that experience, good or bad? Um, I didn't take anything away from it because I lost. But <laughs> it was a it was a great experience just in terms of um, exposure for the store, mm -hmm. exposure for Portland. Um, I'm you know, I couldn't appreciate the experience at the time mm -hmm. that we were filming because it was such a long day and oh, such yeah. a long process and super stressful mm -hmm. that clock is real yeah. and um, so uh, but three months later when the show aired it was great to watch it and really exciting and it was almost like an out-of-body experience where I don't really remember being there because yeah. I was just on autopilot so watching it was kind of all new to me I think I mean even if you had gone all the way in one it would have been obviously great but um, I think the fact that you had the the, uh, the exposure, I think that that probably worked in your favor because then now you know when people go away from Maine and they come back, I think it almost is even better because Maine's a tight knit community. You know, um, something you may have not gotten when you were in. I mean, especially when I was in New York and I came back. I mean, I searched for that and I couldn't find a group of people or a state, even for that matter, that wanted to get behind something. Totally, yeah. You know? And I think that you're in a great. I mean, you're right on the main strip in the Oport on Fourth Street. Um, so everything working in your favor, I think. Yeah, I mean, we were super lucky in terms of finding our location, but also to be in Portland, I think we're very lucky. Um, you know, Portland has this real great sense of community, like mm -hmm. you said, which I was totally lacking in New York. And um, and they really are have an interest in supporting local business. Mm -hmm. and you And as a business owner, I really feel that. After the show aired, so we wore these t-shirts that say I Cupcake Made, and um, so after the show aired, we got calls and emails from people um, all over the country yeah. that, you know, would call or they'd email me saying, uh, I go to camp, I used to go to summer camp in Maine, and my family and I go there every summer, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're going to stop by your cupcake shop, or people who are out in California. Mm -hmm. I'm from Maine, I'm going to come to visit my family, and yeah. it's just, it's so great that, you know, there are people from Maine all over the country mm -hmm. who are still so supportive. God. So, I did some research, and I watched um, a couple of your other um, episodes, web, web episodes. Or yeah, yeah, called. yeah. So, I noticed that you favor the tight black V-neck <sighs> t-shirt. And it just so happens. I'm not wearing a V-neck right now. I'm like, it's a, but <laughs> no, it's, but it just so happens that we had T-shirts made, and they're black. And they're V-neck. And they're V-neck, and they're tight. Oh. Well, you can go down a size if you need to, <laughs> but I was hoping that you'd wear this for the remainder of our interview. Uh, 
It's a lady's large, but I think that, you what? know, it's really going <laughs> to... Can you see this? Accentuate your... Can you see that? Your physique. I don't know. <laughs> what have I got myself into? I don't know... It's Okay, I will. Listen, listen. Yeah. If I... If this looks like it's not an Under Armour shirt on me, then I will most definitely do it. Okay, we have an XL and a double XL, too. Okay. I think a large is going to be just tight enough for you. Tight like you like. Oh, God. This isn't that tight. All right, I swear to... I swear. No, I'll, I'll swear. Mm -hmm. I swear. You have my word. That what? That I'll wear this. No, for the rest of our interview. Okay. Okay? Okay. Bathroom's right over there. Go okay, I'm going to go change, um, <laughs> and then we are going to do uh, a little bit of walking around in the back to see how she makes these cupcakes. So I'm going to... Okay. okay, and we're back in the uh, kitchen area of East End Cupcakes in your little playground back here, so to speak. Yeah, so that's where the magic take happens. me through... <laughs> the magic happens. Take me through what we're doing right here. Um, well, I just thought we would decorate some cupcakes. It's fun. So That's pretty much all I know how to do. So decorate them. I, I I'm gonna assume right. that I can probably do it. Okay. But yeah. Okay. I mean, I would just I I hope that you can. So. It's pretty easy. So basically. I'm pretty nervous right now. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you just want to slap some frosting on there. Here, I'll get you started. Oh man, all this pressure. There you go. Okay. As and much then, as I want. Yeah, as much as you want. You want more than that? Yeah. Okay. Because it's like you're not. Well, you're you want to smooth the top out because I thought we would do this. Try to do that little. Do the elixir logo. Elixir logo. Well, this is like every. This is like something you do when you're a kid, like when your mom lets you lick the bowl of a cake or something. You want to put as much yeah. frosting on something as sure. you want. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go with this for now. Okay. And you can just tell me how bad it sucks. Trust me, I will. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sounds about right. I don't know what I was getting myself into with this one. <laughs> I don't. Yours looks a lot better than mine. Well, yeah, you want to smooth the top out. Okay, I'm trying. Okay. Let me know when you're good. I don't... Good. I just want to lick the thing. I don't... Nope. To... God damn. Use this... Use that side. This side? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, like, just... <laughs> Sure, like that. I immediately have a lot more. Here. I mean, I already had a lot of respect for you, but this is this is not and as this easy is, as it looks. Yeah, and this is easier than using the piping bag, which we do every day. I well, don't... it's easier for some people. Okay, can here. you? You know what? Mm -hmm. yep. Can we just pretend that yep. that you did that Look one? And I did this one. And after, there Perfect. You go. I just yep. There okay. You go. So here's your pink icing. So this is a piping bag. We're gonna put this down. Yep. Okay. Sure. Um. And then, so you want to try to do your logo, or you can do whatever you want. I hope Jason gets a close-up. I'm not gonna, person. I'm not gonna micromanage you. you okay, can do well, whatever you want. Am I holding it the right way at least? Am I, I mean, what are you left-handed, right-handed? Right-handed, right-handed. You're right-handed. Yeah. Okay, so so am I. So you want to twist this in this hand. Okay. And then squeeze. Squeeze left. No, wait. Squeeze at the top with your right. <laughs> And then you just do whatever you want. So I'm not gonna do it. Oh, you, oh, you really want me to do this? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm just gonna, this is gonna yeah. Stink. So squeeze up here, and then you're gonna guide yourself with your left. Okay. 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 I have I have faith in you. I'm so, okay. <laughs> we should, one would think that I know how to do my own logo, but then again. Good. Yeah, you guys, that's you guys good. can see. <laughs> well, the E's gonna be a different story. I don't. I mean, well, yeah. can, can do I the best. Okay. One. Okay. <sighs> this was not meant to be this stressful, so. Coming. Yeah, that's I mean, that's good. I mean. That's really. It looks good. all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it does. I am, hold it up to the camera. <laughs> if they can see it, you can get a to yeah. that one. Let me say, as close as it can go. Not that bad. No. Do you need any more employees? I mean, I can. Yeah. Do you I know, I need some people that can frost. So I don't know. Maybe you can. Do I have to wear the shirt? Yes, absolutely. There I like go. the There's shirt. I like the shirt. Okay. One Is more. it tight enough for you? I think I could go a little bit tighter, to be honest with I you. Think you could. If you. If you have any more that are a little bit tighter. I, I have a ladies medium. 
See, the bubbles are on point, but then when I get to the E, I just... Get nervous. I, I'm getting extremely nervous. <laughs> okay. That's that really one, good. That one's not bad. That's we, excellent. Let me see. <laughs> That's really good. So I have a job here if... if Everything yeah. else falls apart in my life. If I can we come ever need bubbles and ease on, on cupcakes, I'm calling you for sure. I think that you should do a limited edition run of Elixir Cupcakes. I think that would be a good idea. A limited edition run. So like like two? <laughs> <laughs> you have put me in my place today. <laughs> but thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, so no, but thank you very much for letting us into your uh, to your great store. Oh, and my letting, pleasure. letting me thanks. make a fool of myself yeah, um, trying to make cupcakes. For taking interest in us. Yeah, check her out. Um, what's the website for East End Cupcakes? It's www.eastendcupcake.com. And the Facebook is facebook.com backslash East End Cupcakes. There you go. That's where you can find her. Google search. Um, come down to East End Cupcakes on 4th Street. What's the address on 4th Street? 426. 426 to be exact in Portland, Maine. Yep. Uh, check us next time on Elixir TV uh, for new updates, uh, things coming soon. And uh, keep watching for great guests like Alicia Zoidis here. And uh, take care, and we'll see you next time.